From Indie Streaming News Leader, this is a WRTV update. And I'm Lauren Casey with your latest headlines. Metro Police say they have one person in custody after allegedly stealing an IMPD vehicle from a crash scene on the highway. Police caught up with the suspect when a car crashed into an embankment near McCarty Street and Madison Avenue. IMPD says the suspect was involved in a crash on I-70. And when the officer stopped to assist, the suspect allegedly hopped into the officer's cruiser and took off. IMPD says a brief chase pursued, uh, pursuit followed that before the suspect crashed. They were taken to the hospital to be checked out and investigators are working to learn more about what happened. An investigation is underway this morning after two people are dead, another injured in an incident up in Marion, Indiana. Investigators say that Marion police officers responded to the 200 block of West 1st Street Sunday night on a report of a man yelling for the police. Marion police say that during their investigation, officers found two adults who were killed, one person who had a severe wound. Medics took that injured person to a hospital. Police say that the suspect used a long sword to attack the victims. The Grant County coroner has identified the victims as 34-year-old Michael Sandlin and 36-year-old Dennis Johnson. The coroner says the men were found inside of rooms at a boarding house. Police say that they arrested one person. Let's get a check right now of our forecast with meteorologist Todd Clausen. Hey, Todd. All right, temperatures this afternoon, Lauren, going to be pretty seasonable across the area. Upper 30s to the north, right around 40 in Indianapolis, mid 40s to the south. You throw in lots of sunshine and we'll put a pretty good dent in the snowpack here throughout the day today. Now this evening, temperatures do not drop off very quickly. In fact, we'll hold pretty steady in the mid to upper 30s. And then even overnight tonight, we don't drop into the teens. We don't drop into the single digits. In fact, many of you don't even drop into the 20s. We stay in the 30s and that's going to start us off tomorrow uh, with warmer conditions and temperatures again tomorrow in the low 40s. The difference is tomorrow just a little more in the way of cloud cover across the area.